good timing. I'm just going out. Okay. No, you're not. We're here to talk wedding. Just stopping you. Tell her. Priya! Darling, when has me telling her improved anything? Oh. Family meeting, anyone? It's 10 time. Mom, I've got a job to go to. Oh, I'm sure you won't be missed. You can get that Ginny girl to hold the fort. We're here to help plan your brother's wedding. Might be the only wedding the rate you're going. Right. Well, it's, it's his planning, it's his wedding. And that girl, Ginny, she's actually called Jenny. She's going to be a great loss to the company. Always so touchy. Morning, by the way. Right. So, what has she organised? Uh, nothing. We've booked the registry office, though. We means you, I take it. That girl is bone idle. We're calling in on Declan. Now, I really think it would be a good idea if you showed him a little more support. After all, he has just lost his daughter. Mum, why don't you go and make a cup of tea or something? Do you know, that's the most sensible thing you've said all morning. Rishi? Uh, if you want. I have found the most wonderful shop. It colour coordinates the napkins with the groom's tie, socks, your bouquet. Wow. <laughs> oh, Rishi! Sorry! That's who you get your clumsiness from. Thanks for that. Yeah, you know I'm your wingman. Yeah, and he's my wingman. Please, Nickel, you cannot leave me with her. Oh, that Priya. If it's not about her, she's nowhere to be seen. Still, never mind, because I have had some fantastic ideas. Great. Um, I take it you're going Western traditional, not Hindu. Hindu? Well, I did, didn't I, Rishi? Rishi? Yes, sir. Uh... Everything except riding a bejeweled elephant into town. It was what Rish's parents wanted, but I'm not so imposing. Right, what did you have in mind? Right, well, I was kind of thinking more along the lines of a very smart suit. Oh. Well, it's not as if I haven't been there many times before, you know, the big frock, the big bouquet. No, 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 I absolutely forbid it. Why dress for the office when you can glam up to the nines for the day? Well, when you put it like that. How many times before, exactly? Ah, woman after my own heart. We're getting to know Charity better. Yes, well, we're certainly getting to know more um, about... Look, guys, cards on the table, OK? I could spin you a line about um, how I've led this dead virtuous life and everything, but I'd say that you're pretty smart and I'd never get away with that. Well, that's honest. Hmm. We like honesty points for that. As you know, I have been married before, but my husband, Chris, he was a paraplegic. He died. I'm a widower. So sorry, uh, Jane ever mentioned. Uh, and your other weddings? Failed attempts. Uh, and there have only been two. Well, no, three, if you count uh, when Cain tried to marry me. Three? Divine intervention. One way or another, something got in the way. Let's just say everything happens for a reason. <laughs> I'll drink to that. He'll drink to anything. Look, look, all that matters is that our son is happy. And he's. We both are. I know. I can see it written all over you now. Well, toast, please. Charity. Soon to be our new daughter-in-law. Thank you. Your first husband. And what happened? Was he his condition or heart attack? Poisoned. Yes, it will be there. No! Look, there will be no renegotiation of terms. Yeah, well, you know what you can do with that then, don't you? Ugh. Please tell me that wasn't Rob Brewster. Oh, just cut me some slack, please. Look, mate, we're going to have to start dealing with this at some point, you know. I am dealing with it. Thank you. Just in my own way. Doesn't help Mum digging about Declan. Maybe we should tell him. You know, about Mia. Are you crazy? It'll floor him. Yeah, well, it's flooring you. You can't do this alone. I'm not alone. I've got charity. You know, I don't know what I'd do without her. Not one of you's answering your mobiles. Have you found Priya? I did, but she's taken off again. What's wrong with her? Anyone would think she was avoiding me. What that girl needs is a purpose. 
No, 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 no. no uh, we're not going down that road again. You need an assistant. She needs a distraction. Priya. You make her sound like a disease. Anyway, Mum, look, we've, we've got it sorted because we've re-advertised. Oh, waste of money. Mm. Well, OK, I take your point about your sister. She can be more annoying than Nickel in some respects, but I've got a better idea. Wait in. Well, you're looking at her. <laughs> well, it can't be that hard. Ginny does it. Jenny. I bet that's it. I want to see Jennifer Dust, thanks to Mum. I don't know what you're on about. Me and your Mum got on like a house on fire. Oh, no. No. What have you said? I was straight up, OK? And you know what? They loved my honesty. Right. Hang on. I want to know everything that was said from the start. Yeah, all right. Calm down. We had lunch and a few things maybe came out. What things? Babe. I think they love me. <laughs> really? Yes. Seriously? Yeah. I think this is actually the first set of parentals that I've ever actually <laughs> impressed. Ever? Yeah, ever! <laughs> is the coast still clear? Well, you are on a hit list, so I'd be careful. Right, I'm gonna go for a shower. Here, yeah, that. Thanks. Oh, he still thinks I'm scared of her. Well, guess what? I got on really well with her. Huh. Well, it must be Meet the Family Day. I had a drink with Kane earlier. Very nice. Mm, isn't he just? Hang on, are you being serious? Are you warning me off him? He is a guy who takes great pleasure in wrecking the lives of basically anyone who crosses him. Well, I'll have to be careful not to cross him then, hadn't I? It's okay. I'm not interested. Believe me, you don't know what good call that is. <laughs> 